Across the globe, there are staggering figures coming out in relation to the coronavirus. In India, the number of cases now stands at more than one million due to the tally of new infections and deaths, both hitting a daily record. And that has led to new lockdowns being imposed in a number of states across the country as authorities try to get the situation under control. Let's show you Brazil. There have now been more than 2 million confirmed. cases there. That's the second highest number of cases in the world. More than 74,000 people have died with the virus there and due to a lack of testing being carried out, the true figure is to believed to be even higher. The US, which already has the highest confirmed number of cases, the daily record for infections was shattered on Thursday with more than 78,000 new cases. So let's take you to India first, which has now become the third country in the world to pass the one million mark. India more densely populated than the US and Brazil, so the fear is that transmission rates could continue to climb. Let's Let's talk now to Sabir Ahmed, who joins us now from Delhi. Sabir, where are the hotspots? It's no longer just the cities, is it? Yeah, exactly. The earlier hotspots were the financial capital Mumbai, the Indian capital Delhi, Maharashtra state. Uh ...times, moments of comfort are everything. For two months now, this man has been in intensive care. He only has one working lung. It's unclear if he'll survive. Dr. Andre asks if he's experiencing pain. All he can do is blink to say yes. Andre works on shift with his wife, Dr. Fernanda. They live this crisis together 24 seven. Even here, Brazil's top infectious diseases hospital Coronavirus has floored them. It it's the, about the loneliness that they feel, even they are sedated. I feel safe here, more than I'm outside. Really? It's a comment that says a lot. The president has shunned social distancing and regularly refused to wear masks despite them being mandatory. The death toll keeps climbing and even now that he has the virus, he's supportive of shops and restaurants reopening. The only thing a grave digger's afraid of is getting COVID, he says. He's been in the job for 25 years. His hours are long and it's got personal. His uncle was buried here just a few weeks ago. A childhood friend was also lost to COVID-19. 